Hey everybody, welcome back to another comparison video. This is going to be Robocop. Again, I will be playing it on four computers, ZX Spectrum, Commodore 64, Amstrad CPC, and Commodore Amiga. And just gonna pick the right joystick on a second. It'll be around about five minutes of each I'll be playing. Not a game I've played. Oh. Okay. Not a game I've played a whole heck of a lot of, to tell you the truth. Um, I think I've played it in the arcade as well. Um, but a lot of people do say that they think the ZX Spectrum version is the best. So we will see on that one. Seems like your typical ocean game so far. Wait for him to fire. There we go. Thank you. Oh, can I not go... I actually can't go back there. Let's just shoot him on a diagonal. Then. Oh. Oh. Blimey. They come out of nowhere, these people, don't they? I don't have to kill them, but I don't like to be shot at the bum. <laughs> Who does? Wow, people flying in everywhere like ninjas. Oh, I'm getting absolutely battered. I lost my gun. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Oh, okay. Well, that's not good then, is it? Yeah, I'm going to die. <laughs> that did not go so well. I assumed it was unlimited bullets. I should. I don't know why. Looking at the guns there, actually. Okay, we'll try that again. That's better. Ugh. So that's why I try and kill the ones in the window because they end up shooting me when I least expecting it. Okay, hopefully he'll miss. No, he didn't miss. He's not going to miss either, is he? No. Oh, he did. That's the ninjas again. Got a few more bullets left this time. Ugh. That's what I always found with these ocean movie games is um, enemies would always appear from nowhere. And it was almost like you never had a chance. Unless you kind of learned the patterns of the game. But I guess that's what it's all about, or partially, isn't it? You do learn those patterns. Oh, I've got some bullets, thank goodness. It's quite good fun, I must admit. I was kind of hoping to finish a level, but I'm not quite sure how long they are. So. That was weird. I don't know if that was a graphical glitch or. Unless I've just got very powerful bullets here. Or maybe not. <laughs> maybe it'll be when I lose another life. What's this guy, Invincible? Oh, snuffed it again. I'll continue on just for a second. Oh, it's, gonna, it's probably only going to be a second, isn't it, really, when you think about it? I don't know if there's any kind of strategy. I think that's why I haven't played this game much. It's because games like this used to frustrate me. As much as they are classics, and they are, it... it it used to be a lot of the time, like I said, these people are appearing from nowhere and I'm, without knowing the pattern, I'm kind of like, I kind of get frustrated that, you know, you don't really have a chance. It's like this guy here, I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to get him, he's always going to hit me. This time a bit different because I knew he was coming back, but... 
These guys at the window aren't too bad because you kind of know where, that they're going to appear. And again, they've got a pattern, haven't they? They fire after a certain time. Yeah, I must have more power. These must be more powerful bullets because it only takes one shot. Sometimes you can take multiple enemies out with them. Still can't deal with these dudes though. Done for. I don't think I'd ever complete this game if uh, you know I was playing it seriously. Okay, guys, that is the ZX Spectrum version of RoboCop. Uh, like I said, a lot of people do rate this one as the best. Time will tell. We are now going over to the ooh, Commodore 64 version. Yes. Or shall I do Amstrad? No, I'll do Commodore 64 first. We'll, I'll keep the same order. So I'll see you in two seconds for the Commodore 64 version. So here we are. Commodore 64 version of Robocop. Looks a bit fancy already, doesn't it? But as we know, with video games, not always about how it looks. Let's crack straight into it. Oh, it does look fancier. Oh, he's jumping as he shoots at this one. <laughs> That's a bit weird. <laughs> Why is he hopping? Maybe that's why, because there's enemies at lower windows as well. I don't know if I have bullets on this one, actually. Like, Do I have limited bullets? It doesn't look like I do, so I can just literally just shoot. You can see it's a different game, isn't it, really, in terms of that. So if I push up, I guess he must jump. Oh. That <laughs> didn't last anywhere near as long on that one. Is that... Do you only get one life? Surely you don't only get one life. That would be weird. Seems a lot more... Would arcade -ish be a word? <laughs> I'm not doing very well again. I'm gonna. I'm almost. I'm almost done for. Yeah, this this version seems a lot harder. I gotta be honest though. I'm not very good at these kinds of games. I mean, you've probably noticed. Let's try and take a little bit more care on my surroundings this time. I don't like the respawning enemies. In a way, there's no value to killing anybody in those in that sense. Because if they're going to continually respawn, what's the point? Yeah, once again, I'm really done for. Yeah, um... Maybe the reason why the uh, Spectrum version is so revered is because all the rest of the versions suck. I don't know. That's not to diss the Spectrum version, of course, either. I'll have one more try. I must admit, I'm not, I'm not enjoying this version as much. Definitely not. Yeah, maybe it is because I absolutely blow at these kind of games, but like I said, I, I don't, I don't like the the respawning enemies too much because there isn't any value to killing an enemy or making an effort to kill an enemy if um, if all they're going to do is respawn what's the point you know oh ah oh, I wanted to see what that bullet thing was I'm assuming that you do get limited uh, sorry unlimited ammo on that one right well that was the Commodore 64 version I'm not going to spend any more time on that because that was immensely frustrating um I might just be rubbish.
you know, you might hold this version very dear in your heart. If you do, then I apologise for sullying it with my poor gameplay. Um, okay, moving on to the Amstrad version next. See you in one second. So here we are back with the Amstrad version. A little bit of colour, a little bit of music. Quite liking that. This looks more like the Spectrum version, or at least the beginning part does, anyway. Wow, well, the Amstrad games are always, always so colourful. Looks a lot more like the Spectrum version in terms of the gameplay as well. Oh, I see, you have to duck those people with the kicks. Didn't even realise that. Yeah, I'm liking this version already better than the Commodore 64 version in the sense that the enemies are not respawning, which is good. Oh, swine. I'm still not doing great at it, mind you. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. To make oh actually they are respawning these people these must be the more powerful bullets again Actually, doing better at this version than I have on any of the others, but might, that might be due to the fact that I've actually worked out how to duck under those karate people. Oh, I've got some energy back, that's good. I'm running out of bullets, could really do with some. Is that bullets? Oh, it's a three way bullet. Ah, oh, I didn't take all three of them out up the top there. Dang it. <laughs> I kind of knew that was coming. I, I didn't even bother to duck because I knew I was on low health. I'm just going to go for it now. I'm just going to like not worry too much about the enemies in the windows. Unless they're really destroying me, of course. that, thank you. I've got the powerful ammo I can Ah. Oh, I don't think it is the powerful actually. Oh, I hate these chainsaw guys. Real pain in the butt. Oh, I don't like these window guys either because you you think you've got the shot lined up and then they change direction on you and so you oh I changed the again. So you don't have the shot lined up. But obviously then they shoot you like that. Oh come on. Haha <laughs> Miss me. Got the powerful bullets again. Oh, that was pretty cool. Must be getting close to the end of the level now. Oh, I finished it. Okay, so I'll just I'll just try and do this bit.
Oops, did I shoot her? I think I did. How the hell are you supposed to get this guy? Remember in the movie, he shoots in between the legs, doesn't he? Let's just go for it, because I haven't got a lot of time. <laughs> there we go. Right, I'm going to I'm gonna quit it there. Oh, actually, I might have a chance to do a bit more. I don't even quite know what I'm doing, so... Oh, did I finish that level? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, well, he's going to die horribly here because I have to stop the game and I don't know quite know how to pause it. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how you pause it. Oh, well, never mind. Just, just leave it running. Um, that was the Amstrad version. Not bad. I think better than the Commodore 64 version, if I'm honest. And probably did better than I did on the Spectrum version on that too. Okay, next up, Commodore Amiga. We'll see you in two seconds. So here we are, Commodore Amiga version. Pretty sure this is a bit of music from the movie, to be honest with you. Oh, nice speech. Got a feeling it's going to look pretty, this one. Let's. Oh, hello. Okay, he's already looking way more high tech, isn't it? Oh. Okay, more punching than shooting in this version. I like the music from the movie, though. This is a very odd version, isn't it? Oh, here we go, I get a gun, finally. Oh, I see. It's quite funny how he says Robocop every time he picks something up. He could remind himself what his name is. I like that the gun sounds are pretty good. They sound like the movie gun. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, that totally took me by surprise, that did. <laughs> We're not expecting that. Well, that's totally different, isn't it? It's the comparison videos I've done so far have not produced a, a different version of the game like this one does. Excuse me, just put my name in. Um, yeah, totally different kind of game. Starting off with the, pre the presentation, then you've got punching in it rather than like shooting and punching. Oh, we go, some funky graphics going on here as well. I don't know if this is more faithful to the arcade game than um, than the others, maybe, I don't know. If this is what the arcade game was like. Come on, Casey Kaysen, whatever your name is. Casey Wong, his real name is Casey Kaysen, isn't it? <laughs> Voice of Shaggy and Scooby-Doo, in case you didn't know that. Yeah, this is totally different, isn't it? It's... Kind of unnecessary, really, as well, because if you're... Unless you're rubbish at, at video games, you, yeah, you're going to hit by the bike twice, most probably. But these guys ain't going to bother you too much. These might. <laughs> Oh, 
Everyone's hitting me now. I'm just, I'm trying to get through to that last bit again. Yeah, maybe I should have saved a little bit of energy there. This is very old, this boss. It's, it's almost like a Super Nintendo Mario style boss, isn't it? It's very bizarre. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there, um, to tell you the truth. I'm not quite sure what version I prefer. Probably do prefer, prefer the ZX Spectrum version, to be honest with you. I did better at the Amstrad version, to be honest. But, um, yes, yeah, very... There's quite wide differences, aren't there? I mean, obviously, the, the Amiga game looks pretty. The Amstrad game looks colourful, which is kind of what we're learning about these. Just the ZX Spectrum version is monochrome, which, again, we know from the history, really, of the colour palette on the ZX Spectrum. It's obviously not going to have the same range as the others. But, yeah, I think in terms of overall gameplay, I preferred the ZX Spectrum version. Again, in the comments, let me know what you prefer. Please, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, maybe like the video if you liked it. If not, leave a little bit of constructive criticism if you like. Or if you've got any questions or suggestions for future episodes, please do put them in the comments. And, uh, you know, I read everything, I reply to everything, and I'll be only too happy to get back to you. And also let me know what your favourite version is and any memories you have of playing this game. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Take care. And I'll see you on my next video, whatever that may be. Bye for now.